I will break down how you can connect an Instagram ad to ManyJet in just three simple steps. And I will show you how you can create the ad in Facebook Ads Manager, how you can connect that ad to a specific ManyChat automation and the five best practices when connecting an Instagram ad to a chat funnel. Let's get started. So the first thing that we should do is we should go to adsmanager.facebook.com and this will bring you directly into the ads manager of Facebook and then here you can just click on create a campaign and then we need to choose the campaign objective. So the objective can either be engagement or sales. On the ManyChat website, it also says that you can go with traffic. I have tried using traffic, but it didn't work for me. So I will just go with engagement here, then click on continue, and then click on the manual engagement campaign. And in the rest of this video, I'm not going to show you how to set up everything of the ad, like the location and the people you're targeting. I'm just going to show you how you can connect the ad to ManyChat. So here I'm going to click on next. And then here you need to make sure on the ad set level that the conversion location is messaging apps and that the ad type is click to message. And then here you want to check Instagram and you want to uncheck Facebook because we want to create separate ads for Facebook and for Instagram. So in this video, I will show you how you can connect it for Instagram to ManyChat. And I also have a separate video on my YouTube channel that shows how you can connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend checking out that video as well. So here you need to make sure that it's only set to Instagram and then the performance goal should be maximizing the number of conversations. And then we can just click on next. And then here we're going to connect the ad to ManyChat and we can do that under the message template. And it could be that under the message template, we actually need the partner app and it could be that you're not seeing the partner app. If you're not seeing the partner app, that is because you have chosen the wrong campaign objective. So if you're not seeing this, you actually need to create a new ad and that ad with either the engagement or the sales objective. So here you can just click on partner app and then we can select the ManyChat flow. But before we can do that, we should actually create our ManyChat automation. So if we go to ManyChat, then here we can click on new automation. We can click on start from scratch and we actually need to rename this automation because the name of the automation will appear under the select flow. So we can just call this Instagram ads and free ebook because this ad will be for a free ebook. And then as a first step, we need to add a new trigger, choose for Instagram and then click on user clicks an Instagram ad and then you just need to hit save. And then we can determine the first message in our Instagram automation. And within this first message, you need to make sure that you only can use one text and you need to use at least one button or one quick reply. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, is I'm going to say, are you ready to skyrocket your Instagram engagement, generate more leads and increase your revenue? Just click the button below or reply with money and I will send over my free guide. So this ad will be for giving away a free ebook and this free ebook is called how to generate leads and customers on Instagram. And what's important here is that I say, just click the button below or reply with money. And what's important here is that in ManyChat, you have a quick reply. And a quick reply is a button where people can click on. But on Instagram desktop, so if people are using Instagram on their computer, they cannot see the quick reply. So they don't see a button. And because of that, we need to give people two options to go further in the funnel. They can click on a quick reply if they are on mobile, and they can reply with money if they are on desktop. So what we are doing here is we can just add a quick reply and we can just set it to yes, send it over, click on done. And then we need to connect that to a new ManyChat automation. So I will just click on set live, but I think, yeah, it gives an error. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new automation and we will call this automation Instagram ads confirm interest. So what I'm doing here is that if someone confirmed the interest in the Instagram ad, then we are going to send this message. So here I'm just going to fill in test. Uh, normally this would go to complete Instagram chat funnel, but in this case, I'm just going to show you how you can set up the ad and I will leave out the rest of it. So what we're doing here is that we can add a new trigger and the trigger is what we said here. So the trigger will be money. So if someone DMs you with money, then we want to send this second thing. So here we're going to choose with uh, user sends a message 
detect specific words in the message and the message is money. And then we also need to make sure that we add some misspelling. So we can add this, we can add this. So we have some variations there. So we can click on set live here. And then here we need to make sure that if people click on the quick reply, then we are going to start this automation. So here we are going to click to select the automation and go with the Instagram ad confirm interest and click on set live. So that's basically how this works. So how this now works is that if someone clicks on the ad, they get this message in their Instagram DMs. And then we say, okay, just click the button below or reply with money. So if they click on the button below, say they click on this quick reply, then we are going to this flow. And if they reply with money, which is the trigger that we have over here, then they also get this flow. So these are the two ways on how to set this up. And this is the ManyChat automation. And now we need to connect that to the Instagram ad. So if you go back to the ads manager, you can refresh. They need to scroll down. Then here we have the message template with the partner app. You need to click on select flow, then select ManyChat and then select Instagram ad free ebook. And now your Instagram ad is connected and then here you also have a button that says preview in Instagram but that actually doesn't work so we cannot preview this before publishing the ad but what we can do is if you go to many chat then here you can click on preview and then you have like preview in messengers when you click on that then you will get a code and you can send this code to your Instagram account and then you can preview this automation and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now I'm in the Instagram DMs and I'll just click on preview on ManyChat and then here I can just type in 752 which is the code that I get from ManyChat. Then it says, are you ready to skyrocket your Instagram engagement, generate more leads? Just click the button below or reply with money. So if I click on this, then it goes further in the funnel. And then I can preview this again to also show you that this works with the keyword. So then I can just reply with money. And then that sends the same thing. And that's it. That's how you can connect an Instagram ad to ManyChat in just three simple steps. And before I'm going to end this video, I will give you the five best practices when connecting an Instagram ad to ManyChat. So first of all, when your ad is active, you cannot change your ManyChat automation. So if you want to change your ManyChat automation, what you should do is you should disable the ad, then make all the changes that you wanna do, and then you need to turn on the ad Again, you cannot do that. You cannot change anything in ManyChat while the ad is active. Secondly, you need to make sure that inside the copy of your Instagram ad, you're telling people that they are going to the Instagram DMs because people don't expect this. People expect either going to a landing page or going to a lead form. They don't expect going to the Instagram DM. So you need to tell them that. Then the third thing that you should do is that you should align the copy of your ads with the first message that they get in the Instagram DM. So let's say you're doing an ad about giving away a free ebook, then inside the Instagram DM, the first message should be something like, okay, do you want to get the free ebook? Just click the button below or reply with a certain keyword to get that free ebook. You need to make sure that that is aligned. And this is where most of the businesses make the most mistakes. They don't align the copy of the ad with the first message that they get in the Instagram DMs. And the fourth thing that you should do is that you should always give people two options to go further in the funnel. So they can either send you a DM with a certain keyword or they can just click on the quick reply. And this is because of Instagram desktop. With Instagram desktop, you cannot see the quick replies. And because of that, people can otherwise not go further in the funnel. So you always give them the option to just send you a DM. And the last thing that you should do is that you should always test out conversations. And what I mean by this is that with my own clients, I I've seen that we were doing an ad with a landing page or a lead form and we did a similar ad with the DMs. And what I have found with some of my clients is that the DMs were way more expensive. So for the same number of leads, for the same number of sales, we actually needed to pay Meta way more money than we're just using a landing page or a lead form. And that's what I always recommend. Just test out whether this works with 
conversations. And on the other hand, I also must say that conversations have some benefits. So with a conversation, you can actually retarget people for free. So what you would normally do with, for example, a landing page ad is you're sending them an ad and then you're using a retargeting ad to get people back to one of your sales pages, for example. With the Instagram DM, we can actually retarget people for free. So for example, we can give them away a free ebook and then after eight hours, we can send them another message with, hey, what did you think of the ebook? Do you like maybe a course that I have? Do you want some more information about this or about that? Like you can have these meaningful conversations that you couldn't have with landing pages or lead forms and you can actually retarget people for free. But that's it. Those are the five best practices when connecting an Instagram ad to ManyChat. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on connecting an Instagram ad to ManyChat or using ManyChat in general, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.